Hi everyone, this is kind of an impromptu video. I just got back from Whole Foods um, with the Beyond Meat, Beyond Burger. Uh, just quick, I'm not getting paid for this, it's not a sponsorship. I just uh, have been really wanting to try this product since hearing about it and now I get to try it and I'm going to try it along with you so you get to hear my reactions to it. Um, you get this is the Beyond Meat Beyond Burger, if I haven't already said that to you. Again, this is not scripted, so I'm just kind of mumbling along. You get two patties, and this is $5 for two patties. To me, that's pretty darned expensive for what you get. Um, let's see here. Half, half of eight, ounce, eight ounces, eight ounces for $5. So keep that in mind this is not something that you're going to be going out and buying every day unless you're really rich which I'm not so let's go ahead and open these up oh for that 20 grams of protein per serving so they they do have a lot of protein in them which is good I wonder how they make them red is it beet juice what did they use beet juice yep so um, if you have a tendency of your stool turning red from beets then keep that in mind when you eat this product um, there won't be anything wrong with you it's just from the beet juice they don't have a burger smell to them um, they do smell a lot like some of the other um, some of the other vegan products, vegan meat-based products. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and prepare these real quick here. One I'm gonna leave untouched. The other one I'm going to treat as if I am going to actually be cooking a hamburger they are pretty oily that's probably another way that they want to make it seem like it is a beef burger so keep that in mind gonna give one a little bit of salt a little bit of pepper and again the other one I'm just gonna leave plain because I want to taste what it's like without any kind of extras extras so I've salted and peppered one so I'm gonna go ahead and go to the stove and grill these up so I'll see you over at the stove let's go ahead and cook these place these in my grill and according to the directions you're supposed to cook them three minutes on each side on medium high, which is what I'm doing. And like I mentioned earlier, they feel really fatty. I think that's been on purpose because most hamburger is at a 80 to 20 ratio, meaning 80% meat and 20% fat. So they want to recreate that by making these pretty fatty. Let me look at the box. I don't have my glasses on, so I can't really... Okay, 290 calories. 90 of those calories are from fat. Total fat is 22 grams, which is 34% of the daily value. A lot of salt, 450 milligrams of salt. I do see a lot of fat coming out of these too. Look at the way that they're cooking now. They're really releasing a lot of fat. I think that's the idea though, right? I have one burger done the way that I'm going to eat it in a sandwich and I've got one ready to taste by itself. I'm go ahead and 
meet you back over at the counter and we'll get this plated and tasted. Let's go ahead and taste this, see how it is. Again, I did not put any salt or pepper on this. Just cooked it according to the directions. It is a little bit of brown on the outside and pink on the inside. It's not bad. Tastes pretty good. Tastes along the lines of some of the other vegan burgers that I've had, especially from the Beyond Meat Company. I will say though that the texture is a lot more, I don't want to say grainy, but it's a lot more loose. It's not um, compact like what you would find in it. It does have the texture more, more along the lines of a, uh, a actual hamburger. So I do like that aspect of it. Now I'm going to go ahead and assemble my burger. And excuse me while I take a bite here. I want to do this so you know that I'm just drying it out. It's pretty good. At $5 for two burgers, they are a little bit expensive for me, but every once in a while if i feel like i wanted a treat then yeah i might buy it occasionally again it is pretty fatty to closely resemble a, a real burger so keep that in mind it's definitely not a diet food you can find them at pretty much every whole foods in the united states now i, I, I live in oklahoma and i was able to find it at my whole foods so check their website see if it's available at your whole foods pick them up try them out let me know how you think I really hope that you enjoyed this quick review and unboxing of the Beyond Meat Beyond Burger. Again, I was not paid for this. This is not an ad. This is not a sponsorship. This is my honest opinion about this burger. You can find more information at thefatveganchef.com. If you liked this review and you want me to do more, please let me know. I, I want your feedback. I want your feedback on what recipes you'd like to see, what tips you'd like to see. You can find a feedback form at thefatveganchef.com. It should be right there up at the top. You can follow me at every social media. Just look for The Fat Vegan Chef. If you like what I'm doing, please consider donating. You can find out more information at tfvc.org forward slash donate. Please share this with your friends and family. And I will see you at my next recipe. Thank you. Bye.